So I'm going to answer a viewer question. This one is sent in by Zeus Neelam. Hopefully I said his name right, but uh, his question is, what is my favorite distro, Windows Manager and desktop environment? Um, that's a summary of what he was talking about, okay? So it depends on when you ask me this question because I had different favorites at different time periods. So obviously when I started out, um, you know, I was using GNOME 2 and installed Compiz Fusion. It was called Compiz Fusion at the time. Now it's just a drop and they just call it Compiz. But Compiz Fusion and I was using Ubuntu. Back when Ubuntu was actually good, now it's just shit, but back then it was actually really good. Um, so I was using that and I think that was like the standard for most people at the time. Or most of the newbies, I guess. Not, not I was a fucking newbie back then, right? Uh, but after that, like this other time period where um, was that GNOME 2 is about to die and this transition to GNOME 3 or something like that. So people were trying to find out which uh, distribution or desktop environment is their replacement. And for me, this time period, I uh, used it, uh, Zubuntu with XFCE and the Windows Manager was XFWM4 or something like that. Which was okay, but I think Compiz was, uh, you know, still the best one. I mean, you can install that on, uh, you know, XFC if you want, but I, I didn't do that at the time, so that's what I was using. Um, so that that time period where you know they were making like Unity, uh, Cinnamon or something like that, and GNOME three, all, all these motherfuckers new ones were were beta ish, and no one wanted to be a beta tester at the time. I didn't want to be a beta tester, so. I said, fuck that, get something else, and XFC was my go-to, uh, you know, desktop environment and stuff like that, and Zubuntu was the one. Um, so I used that up until recently. Uh, now I'm using a tiling Windows Manager, and I'm using an, an Arch-based system, which is called Bridge Linux. So I'm using Arch, a tiling Windows Manager uh, called i3 which I talked about in my other screencast before if you want to look at that. And it's kind of funny. I don't use tiling that much. I mean, I do use it every day. I mainly like using tiling when I'm doing my swag bucks. I, I do the swag bucks and I'm surfing the net at the same time. And if you do like some stupid advertisement clicks, uh, you know, with swag bucks, um, you can close out the windows real quick. So I do like tiling in terms of that, but do I use tiling that much? Not really. If I wasn't doing, you know, the swag bucks and shit like that. And mainly it's because I don't use a lot of GUI applications. Uh, I know there's some people that do, but I don't. I only use, um, what would GUI application I have? Well, my Chromium browser, that's for sure. And my Quake terminal, this shit. That's about it. That's all I really need uh, for the most part. So, you know, uh, I don't need, really need to tile that much. But I do like i3 when I do need to tile, you know. Uh, so, I'm using Bridge Linux. It's based on Arch. And I'm using Chromium and um, Quake. That's really all I need for uh, on my Arch system here. Because 90% uh, of my applications are in the terminal here. Although 90% of my time when I'm using a computer is just in the browser. So it's kind of weird, you know, I mainly use the GUI browser 90% of the time, but 90% of my apps are in the command line. So I use like 10% you know, of the time. Anyways, if that makes any sense. Uh, but in terms of like my favorite distribution, I can't really say, you know, which one is the best distribution because I haven't used all the distribution out there. Um, I mean, for Windows managers and stuff like that, or desktop environments, I've used a lot. Like I use KDE, XFC, um, GNOME 2, GNOME 3. Um, what else is the other one? Yeah, I, I use a whole bunch, you know, like uh, Openbox and, and, and all these other ones. But uh, I would have to use it at least four to six months before I can, like, say that, uh, you know, I, I'm, I know what I'm fucking talking about or I know... The nuances on those um, either desktop environment or distros or something like that uh, so that's why I don't really do you know type of distro reviews or something like that because 
A, you have to like at least use it for a long time or have like a background experience on it. You know, if I was doing like a additional review of a GNOME system or a XFCE or something like that, yeah, that's no problem for me because I, I already know like the, you know, the, the basic stuff already and I can go to any distribution and say, hey, this desktop environment, I know this, 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 and this, and it's not that hard for me. But if it's like a new, um, you know, Windows Manager or desktop environment or something like that, it's kind of harder. Like, for example, um, in Enlightenment desktop, right? That thing is kind of new because, um, well, it's been around a while, but, you know, it's kind of new because they, they just went, uh, I think, a stable release or whatever recently. And uh, not a lot of people know about it. I did use it for like a month, but I wouldn't say I know a lot about it, you know, in terms of uh, all these other ones like uh, XFC and and uh, GNOME and all that. I know that, uh, I guess, by heart now, right? So, which distribution uh, do, I, do I like? Uh, it depends, okay. If, if I was on a server, I would like a Debian um, distribution like I have right now. I have Crunchbang on there, and that's based on Debian. And the reason for that is just that I don't want shits to break, you know. Who the fuck wants to fix uh, shits on your server? Fuck that, right? Uh, I want something to be stable on there. I don't need to be rolling release or anything like that. Uh, I just need it to work. And that's why I have on my server right now. And I just got my server set up like a week or two ago. So I want to do more videos on that. Um, mainly, you know, to relate to uh, either remotely or interact with Android or other mobile devices or like that. Um, so that's my server and I like uh, Debian on that, All right? Now as far as my desktop, uh, I do like Arch. The, the main reason I like Arch is because it's the AUR. If they don't have that, I probably would not use Arch in my opinion. Because there's really nothing that I would want besides the AUR. If there's like an AUR that exists, I probably would use a, you know, an AUR for Debian or something like that. Uh, even though they, they say you have like Debian testing and shit like that or SID, that thing's not the same, man. That thing's bull crap, right? Uh, the AUR is where it's at if you want new software. And I make videos and I like to try out new software, so it just makes sense for me to use Arch. Um, you know, Arch is a rolling uh, release distribution, but uh, they don't have like a um, an official downgrade process. I mean, they do have this external third party person that was doing it, but he closed his shit down and some other guys like restart that thing up again. I wish Arch has a uh, built in, you know, way to uh, roll back old packages. If they had that, I would probably would use that, you know, um, no problems. Because at least in Debian and the slash Ubuntu, you can do like uh, app pinning and you can get packages from different branch, you know, w whether it be stable, SID, or testing or something like that. You can do that. It might break your system still, but at least you can do that. In Arch, there's really no official uh, downgrade uh, type of system. You know, the only thing you can do is, oh, get an out of sync mirror, and that, that thing's just stupid. You have to waste your time looking for an out of sync mirror. Um, so yeah, I wish there was like a you know an official way to downgrade packages. Um, that that would actually help the uh, rolling release uh, that they do because you know whenever you update a new package. You don't know if, if, if that thing is going to be stable or not. Uh, even though it's in the community or, or uh, the official repositories, still, sometimes uh, the programs that they have in there sucks ass. Like, like for example, my FFmpeg, I have to roll back to an old version every time I need to record stuff like I'm doing now because the new one sucks. And uh, I couldn't do that because the guy that was running the, uh, the what was it, Arch rollback machine, that guy quit, and the other guy um, picked it up, but he doesn't have all the old packages. So, um, that's that for Arch. And the Arch install sucks, too, because you don't really actually learn anything. I mean, you can read the wiki, but in terms of... Uh, like, I always hear, like, these these um, these Arch uh, peers or something like that. <laughs> if you're not installing the Arch way, then you're not fucking using Arch. You know, that's usually what they tell you. But really, you're not learning shit, okay? You're reading the wiki, 
and you're not really retaining that skill anyways because you're only installing it once and you might not you know remember how to do it again you have to read it again and shit like that uh in terms of an application at least like you know if you're using like let's say you're learning uh, a team mux or something like that at least you can use that every day but installing you're not going to install every day right and uh what do you do when you're doing uh, the arch install you just remember all these fucking packages like oh i need to install the gnome you know minimal de uh, desktop environment or something like that like a meta package or uh archive manager or gw or whatever the fuck it is waste of time remembering all those packages so arch install sucks okay i've done that a bunch of times and i just prefer like you know some people like um uh, like with uh this person that was sitting in to, uh, this this uh, question here, he likes using Manjaro with some other um, Windows um, tiling manager. I forgot what it was, but he likes using Manjaro, and that's fine. You know, you you save a lot of time, and you still enjoy your uh, Linux uh, computer experience. But uh, what was the fucking question? Oh yeah, what do I like server for uh, my, you know for Debian and uh, desktop uh, for Arch because I mainly like to use uh, new applications and stuff like that and I'm not one of these person that you know sticks around to uh, one thing uh, for very long so even though I like it right now doesn't mean I'll like it uh, later on because I like to learn new applications and and uh, learn different things so I'll probably stick around for maybe a few months and try something else and, and uh, move on from there um, that's just how I like to learn. Otherwise, I get bored if I stick to just one uh, for forever. For some people, that's fine. But for me, I like to learn new st new stuff. And uh, to learn new stuff, you gotta you know use something else uh, every couple months or a week or days or whatever. So that is it. Hopefully, that answered the question. If you have any more questions, you can hit me up on you know Facebook, Twitter, PM me on YouTube, and all that shit. That'll be for this one.